When Donald Trump took office last year, he also grabbed the keys to a car, a very old car. Several of them, actually. The latest presidential limousine fleet made its debut on Barack Obama's first inauguration day way back in 2009, and that had many expecting Trump to be presented with a new version of the Cadillac-branded Beast, which his predecessor once described as a caddy basically on a tank frame. Well, one was in the works as President Trump took his first trip to the White House, it just wasn't ready yet. It nearly is now. Camouflage prototypes of the updated state car have been spotted being tested on public roads, and at least one of the dozen or so cars that General Motors is set to build under a $16 million contract is already with the U.S. Secret Service, according to Cadillac President Johan de Nijsen. We've completed our task, and we've handed over the vehicle to the customer. An agency spokeswoman also told Fox News exclusively that the program to build and deploy the next generation of presidential limousines is on track and on schedule, both in terms of vendor production and internal Secret Service post-production requirements. The public can expect to see the new vehicles put into operational use late summer of this year. The vehicle's details remain a closely kept national security secret, but it is believed to be protected against both explosive and chemical weapons attacks and equipped with an advanced communication system along with emergency medical supplies that reportedly include reserves of the president's blood type. Cadillac didn't face any known competition for the contract as its American luxury counterparts Lincoln and Chrysler each declined to submit bids, but considers its role helping to chauffeur the world's most powerful man around the world an important association for the brand. It's always been part of our heritage and tradition. We have transported presidents uh, over time, and uh, we hope to be able to continue to do so in the future as well. In New York, Gary Gastelou, Fox News.